Hi, I'm Paul from Paul Ford Leather, and today I'd like to talk to you about wax oil leathers. So first up, uh, we'll go over the characteristics of that type of leather. This is very, very important. Next, we'll talk about how to care for used wax oil leather, then how to care for, for new and near new wax oil leather, and then right at the end, I'll do some tips, uh, quick tips that will help you keep your leather in good condition. So uh, let's get into it. So here's a new piece of wax oil leather. In fact, this type of leather is also referred to as pull-up leather, and here's why. Uh, when this leather is made in the tannery, it's dyed, and as you can see, there's the color of the dye there. And then it has hot oils and waxes rolled over, this, over the surface, and then it's put through hot rollers to make it smooth again. So one of the characteristics of the wax oil leather is that these oils are always mobile, and if I put a Bit of pressure on there you can see when I push my finger in behind there the leather is going lighter that's because the oils have moved away and secondly if I put a scratch through there and then apply a bit of heat and rub it you'll find that the oils and waxes have moved back again and those marks will almost disappear so I've also got another piece of leather here this is a this is a used piece of waxed oil leather. In fact, it was sent down to me uh, by an upholsterer who was going to throw these out, but this is a good demo piece. Down here is where the original colour is. Here is where it's been in the sunlight, and it's actually faded. So first up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what to do with this type of leather, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll deal with the uh, new leather. So I'll cut away now. Right, a used wax door leather. First up, all I do is I uh, take the wax door leather cleaner. It's always a good idea to shake it beforehand because it does have some of the conditioning oil inside it. And then I soak it up with a sponge. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this part here so at least you can see uh, the before and then the after. So just give it a, a really good wipe over with like that. I'm using a paper towel. Uh, in your case, if, you, if you're doing a whole lounge suite, you can use uh, a face cloth or um, a microfiber cloth or anything that you find that's going to dry it out. So what I'll do now is I'll leave that to dry and then we'll come back to it. When cleaning waxed or leather, it's always a good idea to work on one panel at a time. Also, if you grab yourself a, a container of water, and frequently rinse out the sponge and also the cloth that you're using to wipe away, away the residue. And what that does, that'll transfer the dirt from your couch, the lounge suite, to the water. And uh, you'll be surprised uh, how dirty that water can get. So now the leather's dried out, the next step is to take the conditioning oil and grabbing the, a new piece of sponge, I just soak that up. And just spread it on liberally over to the uh, over the leather like that, and you can be quite quite generous with this, especially with the older leathers, because it's probably going to be quite hungry. And what I'll do now is just let that dry and let it just um, do its thing. So the best idea with this type of leather here, where it's quite porous, is the oil's going to is going to take a few hours to soak in. It's probably better to leave it overnight and you'll find that very likely the next day it's going to have a dull haze over the top. What that means is the oil's gone in and the wax has risen to the surface and now you have a, a polishing uh, surface to, um, that you can buff away. So we'll see what happens with this one anyway. But there's uh, one layer of conditioning oil on there. Um, you may, if your leather's very hungry, put two on there. Just give it a get two or three hours difference or gap between them and uh, then leave that overnight. So uh, we'll cut away now and just let that dry out. So here it is, uh, it's had time for the conditioning oil to do its job. Uh, there's a bit of a slight haze over the top of that. So what I'll do now is I'll grab a uh, soft cloth and I'll use something like a t-shirting material and just give it a buff. You see that's bringing up a shine on the end here. You find too that once the leather's lost its dye, where it's been in the sunlight right there, it's not going to bring back the original color. It really needs the dye behind the wax, wax and oils to actually bring it back to that sort of sort of uh, condition there or that color there. But once it goes sort of white, 
you're not going to get it back to its original color because it really does need that dye base underneath. Um, as you can see there, it does help, but it's not going to restore it back to its original condition, uh, or original color. That's where it really needs to be refinished. So, but anyway, that's how to care for uh, used waxed oil leather. To give you an idea of what sort of results you can get using the waxed oil leather care kit, uh, here's a photo of a chair. And as you can see along the top of that cushion there, it's starting to look quite dry. Uh, it's starting to lose its oil content. And here's the photo after, and uh, it looks a whole lot better. It looks like it's been fed. Now here's a before of a leather couch. Now this one here is very, very dry, very, very boardy, and has lost virtually all of its oil content, and some of its dye. I mean, it still can be improved. So here's what it looks like afterwards. So it certainly looks a heck of a lot better than before. Uh, it's not back to its original color, uh, that it came out of the factory with, but it certainly made a difference. New waxed oil leather, the process, uh, the cleaning process is exactly the same. Just make sure you shake up the, the leather cleaner just to disperse the oils that are in there and soak it up with a sponge. And I'll just do a part of this rather than do the whole bit, so yeah, just give it a really good wipe over like that. And again, just grabbing a uh, face cloth or a microfiber cloth, just wiping off the residue and then just leave it to dry. So we'll come back when that's dried and go to step number two. Right, so now this, uh, this new piece of leather has dried out, the next step is to apply the conditioning oil and it's exactly the same as used leather, just so you can just uh, soak it into the sponge and just spread it on nice and liberally. You're not going to need anywhere near as much uh, waxed oil, conditioning oil that you would need on porous leather, so one layer should be enough, and then again I'll just leave that overnight. There you have it, so what I'll do now is um, let that dry. There's the conditioning oil uh, done its job, so all I'll do now is give it a, a buff with the soft cloth. And there you have it. Here's three tips to help you keep your leather looking great. Uh, number one is keep it out of direct sunlight. What the sunlight does is it will cause the dye in the waxed oil leather to fade. And you'll, you'll quite often find that uh, waxed oil leathers that have been exposed to direct sunlight will eventually uh, lighten up and you may have even seen where they go quite white. Uh, tip number two is keep it away from direct heat. And I'm talking about fireplaces, heaters, um, and any source of heat that, that can warm up or get the leather reasonably hot. What that does is that will cause the fat liquors to evaporate and also the conditioning oils to come out as well. Uh, tip number three is make sure you regularly clean it and use the conditioning oil. So if you'd like to use my waxed oil leather care kit, if you go to the website www.paulfordleatherproducts.co.nz you'll find more information there. So I hope you found that helpful. I run out.